Sixth grade illustrative mathematics, unit seven, lesson 17, common multiples. Problem number one. A. A green light blinks every four seconds and a yellow light blinks every five seconds. When will both lights blink at the same time? To answer the question, you need to find the smallest time that both lights blink together. Here's how to do it. List the blink times for each light. The green light blinks every four seconds. Its blinks happen at 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on. The yellow light blinks every five seconds. Its blinks happen at 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. Find the common blink time. Look for the smallest number that appears in both lists. Here, 20 seconds is the first time both lists have in common. So, both lights blink at the same time every 20 seconds. Problem number one, B. A red light blinks every 12 seconds and a blue light blinks every nine seconds. When will both lights blink at the same time? To solve the problem, follow these simple steps. Write down the blink times. For the red light that blinks every 12 seconds, list the times, 12, 24, 36, 48, and so on. For the blue light that blinks every 9 seconds, list the times 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, and so on. Find the first common time. Look at both lists and find the smallest number that appears in both. In this case, it is 36. So, both lights will blink at the same time after 36 seconds. Problem number 1. C. Explain how to determine when two lights blink together. To figure out when two lights blink at the same time, you can follow these steps. Make a list of blink times for each light. For example, if one light blinks every three seconds, list its times like 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. If the other light blinks every four seconds, List its times like 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on. Find the first common number. Look at both lists and find the smallest number that appears in both. That number tells you when the lights will blink together. This method helps you see when the blink times match, which is when the lights blink at the same time. Problem number two. A. List all multiples of 10 up to 100. Count by 10, starting at 10, and stop at 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Problem number 2. B. List all multiples of 15 up to 100. Count by 15 starting with 15 and don't pass 100. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. Problem number two. C. What is the least common multiple of 10 and 15? Look at the multiples of 10 and 15 and find the smallest number that is in each list. The smallest number in each list is 30, so the least common multiple of 10 and 15 is 30. Problem number three, A. Cups are sold in packages of eight. Napkins are sold in packages of 12. What is the fewest number of packages of cups and the fewest number of packages of napkins that can be purchased? So there will be the same number of cups as napkins. To solve this problem, follow these steps. Find a common number. You want to find a number that is a multiple of both 8 and 12. This means the number can be divided evenly by both 8 and 12. This number is called the least common multiple. 
LCM. List the multiples. For cups, list multiples of 8, 8, 16, 24, 32. For napkins, list multiples of 12, 12, 24, 36, 48. The first number that appears in both lists is 24. Determine the number of packages. For cups, since 24 cups are needed and each package has 8 cups, you need 24 divided by 8 equals 3 packages. For napkins, since 24 napkins are needed and each package has 12 napkins, you need 24 divided by 12 equals 2 packages. So, you need 3 packages of cups and 2 packages of napkins to have the same number of each. Problem number 3. B. How many sets of cups and napkins will there be? A set means one cup paired with one napkin. Since you get 24 cups and 24 napkins, that means you can make 24 sets since each set has one cup and one napkin. Problem number 4. Rectangle ABCD is drawn on a coordinate plane. A equals negative 6 and 9, and B equals 5 and 9. What could be the locations of points C and D? First, notice that points A equals negative 6 and 9, and B equals 5 and 9 have the same y value. This means they lie on a horizontal line. In a rectangle, the sides that go up and down are vertical. So the left side goes through A, and another point with the same X coordinate as A, and the right side goes through B, and another point with the same X coordinate as B. That means point D, which is below A, will have the same X coordinate as A, which is negative 6, and point C, which is below B, will have the same x coordinate as b, which is 5. Next, choose a different y value, different from 9, for the bottom side of the rectangle. For example, if you choose y equals 3, then point d becomes negative 6 and 3, and point c becomes 5 and 3. Now you have a rectangle. A equals negative 6 and 9, B equals 5 and 9, C equals 5 and 3, and D equals negative 6 and 3. This is one possible answer that meets the conditions for a rectangle on a coordinate plane. Problem number 5. A. A school wants to raise $2,500 to support its music program. If it has met 20% of its goal so far, how much money has it raised? To figure out how much money has been raised, follow these steps. Understand the percent. 20% means 20 out of every 100, or 0 0.20 in decimal form. Multiply the total by the percent. The total goal is $2,500. To find 20% of $2,500, multiply 2,500 by 0 0.20. Do the multiplication. 2,500 times 0 0.20 equals 500. So the school has raised $500 so far. Problem number 5. B. If it raises 175% of its goal, how much money will the music program receive? Show your reasoning. To solve this problem, you can follow these simple steps. Understand the percent. 175% means 175 out of 100, which is the same as 1.75 times the original amount. Use the goal amount. The goal is $2,500. If you multiply this by 1.75, you will know how much money is raised when 175% of the goal is met. Do the multiplication. 
multiply $2,500 by 1.75. So, the music program will receive $4,375 when 175% of its goal is raised. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.